most people in the world today are, generally speaking, lifelong learners. A short series I've been talking about is Retail America. To relate to you every experience that we have ever had in our life with a badly behaving employee at the lowest levels of society or a poorly prepared manager, well, really doesn't help America. Because if other people have the same experience, then the company has really failed themselves. In my experience yesterday, I visited a particular staple shop where I typically do shop on a regular basis. Of late, however, my stipend has not been enough to purchase the things that I would buy. But what I can tell you is that the products must be a value to people because they usually get stolen from me in the night. I've had my marvelous permanent markers taken from my property bags. At the same time, I've had small, inexpensive dollar backpacks that are a good value for a short time, ripped and cut in a way that makes no sense to the value of my life. When we talk about a person who works for a corporation, we rarely give them the education today or on-the-job training today that is appropriate to the productivity and performance of the entire nation of America. You see, every single day we have people visiting America from different nations. Every single day we have different races and socioeconomic cli clients or classes entering our stores and shops. And at the same time, we have the impoverished mind of the person who has barely gone to college or to any certification program, barely made themselves out of high school, who has absolutely virtually no life experience or full-on control of their living to be living independently without perhaps roommates or a partnership of their family or friends. What that means today is that the most employees of retail shops are part-timers, which generally speaking means that they're making a particular age-oriented wage. An age-oriented wage and an education-oriented wage is the facts of America, that we are producing university students heading out into the world and they're not finding jobs because in truth those industries don't truly exper uh, exist in the plethora in which they need to. Therefore competition is fierce and technology companies are abusing our telecommunication laws and abusing our First Amendment rights by denying our freedom of assembly.